internet has truly just ruined so many things for me. It's taken away my innocence, my sanity, and somehow now, it has also ruined food. The amount of times I've logged onto Twitter and saw this. Like, come on, man, I was having a good day. Why'd you have to ruin it? Cursed foods is a subgenre on the internet that truly doesn't need to exist. I know you've seen this before. People tagging Gordon Ramsay in their godforsaken abominations. The point I'm trying to make, however, is that maybe these foods are actually the greatest things in the world, and we just don't know. And we will never know until we try them. You donkey! Okay, uh, let's just get started. Our first cursed food is a meme that I saw that really touched my heart. It was like, I wonder what the internet will be like in the future, and how useful it'll be. And then it's like, the internet. Snickle. The snickle, in theory, doesn't sound too disgusting, uh, especially if you're pregnant, you might really like it. But uh, I have it right here. It's a pickle and a Snickers. That's it. <laughs> Let's open this up here, actually. On Upon second viewing, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it the same way. You're supposed to hollow out this pickle and then put the Snickers inside of it, you know? But it's... It's too big. It's not gonna fit. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is... Uh, instead of hollowing out this pickle, we're gonna just cut it. Jesus, this knife sucks. Okay. This knife, this knife really sucks, dude. Like, this can't cut anything. Okay. Mmm, there we go. So instead of a Snickle Hot Pocket, or a Snickers Hot Pocket, we're going to make... <laughs> so ugly. We're gonna make a Snickers Sandwich. Yeah. That sounds nice and tasty. Dude, this can't even cut the Snickers. Like, real talk, this thing, this knife is, like, not sharp at all. That kind of hurt. Don't do that. Don't ever play with knives like that. <laughs> like I just did. Dude, this is impossible! This Snickers is indestructible! Is Did I buy an expired S Snickers? Do it the old-fashioned way. Mm-mm-mm. This is the stupidest thing ever. This is, like, so dumb. And there we go. That's basically a Snickle. Mmm, doesn't that just look tasty? I guess we're gonna just eat it. I don't like pickles, honestly. But yeah, let's get a good shot of that. Mmm, the snickle, baby. That's just... That's disgusting. That's, that's literally disgusting, actually. I didn't think it would be that bad. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's so like, this is so sour. And this is so sweet, which they should complement each other. But there's just something- oh, that was disgusting. That's- I could still- it's like- The Snickers also has so much like, uh, nougat and peanuts that like, it's not just a chocolate covered peanut or chocolate covered pickle. It's legitimately disgusting. You can hear it. Okay, no, it's gross, dude. It's gross. I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> no, dude. This is a hard pass. You want it? Uh, if you if you want this pickle, please write in the comments. Uh, I would like this pickle. I will get in contact with you and mail this to your home. <clears throat> okay, our next food is a spin on a classic. Uh, mayo chup, or as the rest of the world knows it as fry sauce. It's a simple condiment of mayonnaise and ketchup. You mix it together. It's pretty good. I like it. Uh, but people decided to make memes of it. So there's Mayonster. Uh, obviously a mixture of mayonnaise and monster. First up, we have the classic mayonnaise, right? Mayonnaise is great. Now for the second ingredient, this is where things get upsetting. I went to the store to buy all this and they didn't have the generic green monster. They were all out of it. They had all of the other ones. Ugh. Oh, that was the snickle coming back up. Anyway, they didn't have it. They didn't have the stereotypical Kyle punching a hole through the wall, 
going on a motocross bike race type of monster. So I had to improvise. So uh, we now have uh, Mountain Dew uh, Kickstarter. Yeah. Uh, for those who don't know, this isn't soda. This is an energy drink. So we now have, instead of Mayonster, we have Mountain Dew. It's the grossest thing I've ever heard. Let's let's get this show on the road, I guess. Once again, it's just two simple ingredients. A mayonnaise and green energy drink. I hope this is green. How does this even taste? Dude, this literally just tastes like Mountain Dew. I mean, I guess we'll just pour, pour it in the mayonnaise. Mm, oh my god, dude. That's actually disgusting. Okay, uh, what am I gonna start it with? I didn't bring a spoon. I put the knife away. Ah! Of course. The other half of the snick. <laughs> Dude, what am I doing? All right. Mmm. Doesn't. Oh my god. That's dis that's literally disgusting. Oh, oh. I don't. It's not even green. I wanted it to be. Gr we'll put more in there. Maybe that's all we're missing is more Mountain Dew. Oh my god. Should I eat it? Like. I mean, that's the joke, right? Like, that's the whole fun of the video. Mmm. Mounts, may out, may do down, down the hatch, folks. Oh my god. That's, that's even worse than the snickle. What the f- That's actually gross. That's legitimately- I forgot that it was mayonnaise, and it just, it, it's, it's chocolate mayonnaise now at this point, mmm. Okay, well, I got, we could take another bite. Okay, that's worse, that's <laughs> Well, uh, Mayonster isn't exactly what I thought it would be. I thought it would be more green, it's so gross. This is alright, actually. I'll drink this. Uh, as for this, no, this this goes away forever. <laughs> um, here I have this. Um, let's take let's take a break from the really gross cursed foods because I have uh, Kit Kat sweet potatoes. Uh, in Japan, they have uh, the Kit Kats are all over the place. There, they have matcha, wasabi, you know. I can't remember, there's probably like McDonald's flavored Kit Kats. And I went to the store and I've never seen potato uh, Kit Kats. So let's give this a try. There it is, there's the Kit Kat. I guess we'll just try it. The fact that this is sold in stores, I imagine it's not too gross. Okay. Actually, I, I hate sweet potato. <laughs> all right, so all of that was pretty terrible, but we're not done yet because I want to make my mark on the cursed foods internet community by ruining my favorite food of all time, pizza. So here's what I did. I went to a random ingredients generator website and had it create four toppings I would add to this pizza. The final results? were Skittles, peanut butter, pepperoni, okay, that one's nice, and Monster again. Come on, man! And we're back in the kitchen this time. Uh, we got all of our ingredients. We got uh, <laughs> some dollar store pepperoni pizza, Skittles, the rest of this uh, Mountain Dew, and some peanut butter. And we're just gonna simply make this pizza. Mmm. It's like, us. I'm like binging with Babish right now. Check this out. What's up, here's my pizza. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get some peanut butter on here. Yeah, mm, doesn't that look tasty? We're just gonna, we're just gonna spread that. <laughs> that looks so gross, dude. There's not even enough on there. There we go. Mmm, peanut butter pizza. That looks delicious. I also did, forgot to put this pizza in the freezer. So it's kind of falling apart and it's really mushy and probably rotten. Step two. Uh, is we're gonna add the Skittles to it right there. So we're just gonna delicately dabble. Yeah, mmm. All the Skittles onto there. 
That's, that's, there's a nice look of it so far. Doesn't that look appetizing? Peanut butter, Skittles, and last but not least, some seasoning. Some good old gamer seasoning. We'll just uh, sp spritz some of that on that. Oh my God, that's ugly. That's so gross. Mmm, tasty. Let's just get a shot of that right now. Doesn't that look appetizing? Now we have to bake it and hope for the best. Okay, so the pizza is done cooking. Uh, first impressions, it smells really like weird. Like it's mainly super fruity, but the Skittles, they're so, they, they all exploded. <laughs> There's like holes and craters in them. I guess if I knew how science worked, that'd make sense. Uh, it definitely doesn't look appetizing. Okay, so there's the pizza, it's cooled down. It smells worse, it doesn't even smell like fruit anymore. Uh, we're just gonna eat this vlogger style. What's up, everyone? It's, that smells like, like death. That literally smells like death plastic. It doesn't even smell like skittle, okay. Here you go. Oh my God. All right. Oh. Okay, at first it was fine. At first it tasted just like Skittles and pizza, but the way they're all melted, the Skittles on that pizza, it just like, <laughs> it just had a weird consistency. And like, I think they're super glued to my teeth now. I can still feel Skittles on there. So overall, pretty disgusting. Um, I hope that you all can, try you don't try any of the other stuff, but the, uh, the Skittles pepper or, peanut butter, wherever the heck it is, Mountain Dew pizza. Give that a shot. Let me know how it is. Peace out, or whatever vloggers say.